In order to sync your Schoology gradebook with your PowerSchool gradebook, there are three basic steps we need to take. First, if you haven't already done so, navigate to your Schoology course page, open up the Grade Setup tab, and make sure that you've already added your categories that you're going to score your grades with this year. In this example, each of these categories represents a standard that I'll be reporting on. Once you have your categories added and the weights set up, you're going to navigate to your Power Teachers uh, portal. Open up Power Teacher Pro, and in Power Teacher Pro, for each section that you want to be able to sync with, you're going to have to navigate to the Grading tab, and under the Grading tab, open Categories. If you haven't already done so, you'll need to add the same categories that you added in Schoology to your Power Teacher Pro gradebook. To add a category, you click the plus sign, category, and then give the details of what the category is and which sections it applies to. Once you've added all of your categories, you can delete the four standard ones that were there by clicking the Edit button, which is what you see I've done in this window here. After you've created your categories, the third and final step is to sync them manually so that the gradebook in Power Teacher Pro knows where the grades and scores are coming from in Schoology. To do so, navigate back to Schoology, and in Schoology, scroll down in your menu to the Power School selection. Under the Power School selection, open up the section that you were working with to sync your grades. Choose the Configuration tab if it doesn't start there and you will see your PowerSchool categories that you created on the PowerTeacher Pro side listed down the right column of this table. On the left column of the table are all your Schoology course categories. We simply need to assign what category reports to what category in the other software program. If you use the same names in each software package, it should be quick and easy to assign each category where it reports to in the Power Teacher Pro. When you've finished, you save your changes, and if you want to sync at that time, go to your Sync Grades tab, which is where your report of anything that has synced will happen. If you have assignments that are already listed, they will show you the status here. In this example, I have three assignments, an Introduction Assignment 1 that shows as a status opted out. That means when I set it up, I chose it to not be graded on the Schoology side, so it will not sync with the PowerTeacher Pro side. In, for sample grade test and sample grade test 2, these assignments are created but not yet synced with PowerTeacher Pro. To sync, there are several ways we can do this. Simply wait and let it manually sync on its own, sync all of your changes, or manually sync an individual assignment. To do so, simply click the arrows, it will queue up, and depending on how many students across how many sections you have, it will sync up with your Power Teacher Pro side, and when it's completed, you'll be able to navigate back to the Power Teacher Pro side and see those assignments pasted in and updated so that you have reported out your Schoology gradebook and your Power Teacher Pro gradebook with the same information. After it is done, you'll see a successful sync. When you go back to the Power Teacher Pro side, if you go under your assignment list, for the sections that you have synced with assignments, you'll see those assignments show up and any scored points will be entered based on what was entered in the Schoology side. At any point, you can resync. And if you need to delete an assignment, be sure to delete it from both sides, the Power Teacher Pro side and the Schoology side, so that there are no syncing issues when you do this. A word of caution for teachers that use percentage-based calculations in their Schoology gradebook. When you have a Schoology grade assignment in the Schoology gradebook that calculates a category based off of percentages, when you send it and sync it over to PowerTeacher Pro, it actually changes and uses its own calculation method based on points. So be sure to check your 
final grade reports to make sure that all of the math calculates up separately correctly. Each gradebook does their own math calculation based on the settings you have, so be sure that they are aligned and match up so that when you sync, it's easy and done, and the students will see the same grade on either side of the software. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Thanks, guys.